I've heard a lot of people, for instance, have contacted me to say their feelings about putting children, juveniles in prison, really changed after reading The Enchanted, because there's a character in there that is a boy that goes to prison. Um, and in our country, depending on the state, children as young as 12 can be sent to prison. You know, I, I've heard a lot about how it's changed people's opinions and views, because despite the number of millions of people that we incarcerate, we don't have a lot of connection to who those people actually are as human beings. I knew that I could, I could, write, could have written a, a novel about, for instance, innocent people in prison, um, because there are a lot of innocent people. But I knew that that would have been a, a pretty easy thing to do. And I wanted to tackle a harder subject, which is the guilty people in prison, and uh, which I've worked with. I think reading can make a huge difference. You know, it's interesting because I've met a number, for instance, of young attorneys who are going into indigent, indigent defense work because uh, they've read novels or they've read books about mass incarceration. And, you know, reading can be a way that somebody really connects with an important issue or cause, and it transforms people. I actually, interestingly, have seen that often when working in prisons because many people go into prisons and jails illiterate and they learn to read when they're inside. And to see somebody learn to read and the way their entire world opens up and somebody that I might, a client, an inmate, I might have been visiting and they were kind of dead to the world or sullen or angry and they, they learn how to read and all of a sudden their eyes light up and they begin to see the possibility in life is one of the very special things that I think reading lets us do is it lets us envision a different future for ourselves.